Hello friends, welcome to our today's session. In this series, we are covering data engineering with Azure Databricks. And in our today's topic, we will learn how to read a file or else how to get the data from a, a blob storage uh, from ADLS Gen2 account using access key. Uh, we have uh, several methods like we can generate an access key or else we can uh, generate a SAS token and use that in a Databricks to read the file. So today in this video, we will cover uh, how we can get the data using access key. Uh, we will learn uh, how to navigate through portal uh, to a storage account and get the access key and configure it in the Databricks environment. And we will uh, learn how to read it from Databricks. We will use Azure Databricks here to read the data from Azure storage account. So that being said, without a wait, we will move ahead to a demo. So we are into my uh, portal homepage. So the URL is portal.azure.com. And before moving ahead, I would request uh, you guys to give a like to this video if you really like my content and also provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. So that being said, let us move ahead. I am going to a storage account and uh, I have created a storage account called uh, Azar Learn Storage. So in this, if you had seen, uh, we have a session uh, in the left side as access key. So I am clicking on it and uh, it will pop up a access key in the left side. So it is uh, just I can go ahead and click on the show button. Uh, which will give me a copy button to copy here or else I can also use the connection string if I am going to connect it through some other app like uh, if I have a Azure Storage Explorer so that I can directly use the connection string and I can connect it to the uh, application so let me show here copy it and have it ready so that is done and now let us open our Databricks. So I have also created an instance for Databricks as well. So I created both the things in East US. Remember like uh, uh, wherever you create the storage account, uh, try to maintain the workspace as well in the same location. Otherwise you might incur an additional cost of uh, data transfer between the region. So be mindful of it. I am launching the Azure Databricks here. So it might take a couple of minutes. And I will go ahead and start the cluster as well. So we started our cluster. Let us uh, move ahead to the notebook that I have created. So I had created a notebook called read storage using access key. So let me walk you through the code. I have already prepared it. So the first step, let me check whether the cluster is working fine. Yes. So the first step is to declare the storage account name and the storage access key. So the storage account name here is uh, Azure, Azure Learn Storage that I have created. That is the account name. And then the key is the one which we copied from there. So that I pasted here. And then uh, we need to configure it in our Spark. So for that, uh, we need a command called spark.conf.set. And here we have to set the storage account name and the storage access key. So this is how we will set the configuration uh, for the secured access uh, uh, in real time in production. We will not be making it as a variable here and using it in the spark conf. Instead, we will be using a key vault as a service Azure key vault as a service and we will be providing the information that has to be secret there and we will create a uh, Databricks secrets here and that Databricks secrets will be used in the configuration. So this is how we will uh, uh, make it as a secured one. 
so let me zoom it a bit i think yeah so this is how we will uh, make it secure uh, we will have those uh, thing in our later video i will show how to configure a key vault service and how we can uh, uh, provide the informations there and uh, get that as a secret here in the data bricks so that will be for the later video and the next step is uh, once i figured it out let me run this once i configured the uh, access key I have to provide the container name and the file name that I need to read. So this is the path, uh, the storage container name. Let me go back to the Databricks environment. I mean the portal environment and in storage account. Uh, let me show you the container. So I have created one container called uh, learn spark container and inside this I have placed one file. Uh, customer underscore file dot csv which is of uh, around uh, uh, 660 kb it has around 10,000 records i guess so let us go back there so i had given the container name and the input file name here and uh, there are two types of uh, file services that we can use to connect to the blob storage so one is uh, wabss and another one is abfss uh, we will see the difference in the later video so for now I am using ABFSS, remember that alone and uh, other things are straightforward. So we will use the spark command spark.read.format as a CSV and I am enabling header as true and then I am loading the input file that I have just uh, configured. So let me print the input file here. So this is how the file name looks. So let me run this command. So it will trigger the spark job here since I'm reading it and uh, while displaying it, it will trigger the spark job. So it has read this and let me display the output. So here you can see the output got displayed. So this is how we will read the data from uh the container inside the blob storage the file inside the container and container inside the storage account using the databricks environment so access key method is good but uh, it is not advisable like uh, if you are having access key then it is considered as a kind of admin access you can uh, go through all the containers and you can go through all the files that is available you will have a write option you will have a read option all those informations will be available you can even delete it delete the information so in production it is not advisable to use the access key uh, instead we can use a SAS key token uh, which will uh, limit the restrictions of which will have a restriction to the access level as well uh, which we will cover it in our next video so hope you guys understood this uh, try to implement it and uh, let me know if you face any issues i'm happy to help you guys thank you for watching this video uh, please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content thank you